Hi everyone, Linda here. The challenge over at your paper pantry for the Friday challenge is your storage solutions. And we have lots of different ways I store things, but one of my favorite things that I have and I, is the way I store my scraps. This is one of those cubes you get from Michael's um, or Recollections cubes. I'm not really impressed with the quality of them. They they don't seem to be holding up. But what I do like about this one is I've taken the plastic drawers out of those 12 by 12 plastic drawer ones because I don't like those either, the plastic uh, stands. I, I don't know, they just seem to collect dust more because they're plastic. I don't know. But anyway, what I did is I've taken the drawers out and put them in here and then I just have it labeled with, like this says, red and black and blue and then I just throw my scraps in there you know and then when I need blue I go in here and dig through it the one that has the most in it is this white drawer up here white and tan so I need to go through that and cut it up but I really do use that a lot and I use my scraps a lot more because I have it organized like that so that's one of the ways I organize Another one of my favorite things is this old file box that I got. I I really, really love antiques, so, and if I can afford it and, and it's something I can use, I really, really like it. So this is an old file drawer, like from a card catalog, I think. Let me see, does it have the... Yeah, this is an old card catalog thing. I can tell because it's got the you know, like a little post in the bottom of it. Anyway, so up here I have all my um, embossing folders. And what I did uh, is I, I made like little file folders and I embossed the front of it. And most of them, that one I don't have, but most of them I have it labeled in there in alphabetical order so I can kind of find them. You know, it's not perfect. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that, uh, that organized that oh I have something in here I'm not that organized that all of them like there's some in the back there's a couple here that aren't labeled yet that I need to label and they may not be in alphabetic order and then sometimes I have friends that come over and um, use them and they don't realize that I actually have them in some kind of order then in this drawer I have um, a lot of die cuts and they're in CD cases but I do have you know I, this isn't completely done I have some in um, I still have some just to put away like right there some to put away and then in this drawer I have cards that I've made and this drawer I have Christmas cards that I made and I loved that last year I went through and um, got in a weekly Christmas card challenge and so I would just put the cards in here and when it came time to write Christmas cards this year it was great I just took the drawer out took it upstairs and wrote away put the addresses on it so I really really like this then the other day I picked up this little just a little crate I think it was a dollar at St. Vinny's and um, I'm putting my some of my die cuts most of these are the Christmas ones that I haven't put away. See, I got this one. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> That's how bad it is. So addicting. Anyway, so I've got those things there, and that's the way I like to organize. Over here, I have another old box that I have um, more of my dies in. So I really like using old things in my studio to store my crafting things with. So there's a couple of my ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.